I'm Christopher Janus. You may have seen the movie, a wonderful movie, that Disney made of my book, Goodbye, Miss Fourth of July. Uh, today, I'm nearing my 96th birthday. Next week, Greek Independence Day is my birthday, 96. I believe I'm told I'm the oldest lecturer on YouTube. And today I'm going to give you an example of some of my lectures. I'm going to talk about my meeting with Winston Churchill, who was making one of his movies, and my talk about Marilyn Monroe. I met Marilyn Monroe uh, years ago with my, my friend Tellus Avalos. My friend Tellus Avalos took a telephone call outside, and I was left alone with Marilyn Monroe. And suddenly she became very serious. She said, uh, Christopher, did you know the president? I said, Marilyn, I didn't know him as president. I knew him as a student at Harvard many, many times. Do you think, don't you think he's a nice man? Marilyn, John Kennedy is president of the United States, and that's a lot of niceness. She said, oh, you know what I mean. She says, you know, the president gave me his private telephone number in the White House. And we had many long and wonderful conversations. You talk about making love on the telephone. I think that's what it was. But the last time I talked with him, who should answer the telephone but Jackie? And she said, Mr. No, my husband and I greatly enjoy your films. Don't ever call this number again. Then Marilyn's eyes really filled with tears that came down her face. So I gave her my handkerchief and she wiped the tears away and she put the hands away. I said, Marilyn, I want the handkerchief. Oh, she said, I'm sorry. She folded it up and she said, I'm sorry there's lipstick on it. I said, Marilyn, I shall treasure this handkerchief because it holds the tears of Marilyn Monroe. 20th Century Fox, my friend's first course, was going to do a film on uh, Churchill based on his book, the, the Younger Years. And 20th Century Fox asked me to go to London to talk to, to Churchill, to have him sign a couple of release papers, etc., and get to know him, which I did. Well, I arrived in London. I went directly to their home. Mrs. Churchill greeted me warmly, and she says, my husband is taking, he's doing most of his business these days from his bedside, but he's perfectly well. And I noticed that in, the, in his room, three walls were covered entirely with books. But the wall back of his bedroom where he was, was empty with the exception of one small photo. He says, young man, look at it carefully. That's the first time in history that the Prime Minister of England, which was himself, is standing at the right of the King of England at a public meeting. And I was uh, very happy that 26th Century Fox and his friend, his old friend, Aristotle Lanassa, was going to finance the film. He was very happy with that. And then I was unprepared for what happened next. He says, uh, by the way, Janice, uh, how's my old friend Cecil B. DeMille? Well, I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but one of the things that Tony Cecil Fox told me when I, when I met with Churchill, under no conditions ever talk about death or dying or somebody dead. I said, I'm sorry, Sir Winston, but uh, Cecil B. DeMille is no longer with us. He says, you mean it? This is a bit of a resign to the first Fox. I said, no, sir. He died last year. Well, Churchill moved uneasily in his bed. And uh, he said, uh, well, thank you very much for coming out. We've got the right papers. Uh, my brother will see you out. And that was the end of my interview with Churchill. Well, I, I, I'm afraid the time is up, but I would love to set, share more of these stories with you. I enjoy telling them. I hope you will enjoy hearing them. Thank you.